Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to import data from a text file. There are two different ways of doing this depending on the version of Excel that you're using so I'm going to cover both in this video. So you can see on the screen that I'm starting with a blank sheet and I've got my data set saved in a different file. So in order to import the data set I need to go on to the data menu which is there. I'm going to go on to get data and I'm going to come down from file and I'm going to select a text file. It's then going to ask me to select which file I want to use. So mine is saved on the desktop, so you have to navigate to where your file is saved. Mine's in, the, in this folder here and spreadsheets and this is my data file. So I'm just going to double click it to accept this uh, file. It then starts a wizard. So this is where it differs. So I'm going to take you through both processes. So if this doesn't look like yours, that's fine. Don't worry, I'm going to show you the other way uh, after I finish this. So this is a simple process. Um, we don't need to do anything on this screen itself other than come down to the load section, okay, which is down here. I'm going to select the little drop-down list, load to, because I want to load it to the sheet that's already open. I'm going to put it into an existing worksheet. You can see I've got the little dancing ants running around my cell A1. That's where it's going to paste my first load of values. And I'm going to click OK. In this process, uh, the data is imported into a table. Uh, we can't do any work with a spreadsheet uh, like as it is like that, so we need to convert uh, this data that's been imported into a normal range. So um, there's a few things we need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is to close down this queries section here. Okay, you click it on the X to close that down. And then I'm just going to convert my uh, table. You can see it's a table because it says table tools at the top. I'm going to convert this table to a range. I do that just by clicking on this button here, convert to range. Okay, it says it's going to permanently require uh, remove uh, the queries, that's absolutely fine. Click OK. And you can see this removed the filters from the top, but this is now a range. But to get it into a um, into an unformatted format, I'm just going to select the sheet. I'm going to come up to the clear option up here, clear, and I'm going to clear the formats. And that puts it into the format for me for uh, for use um, in uh, any further calculations okay I'm going to show you the other way now so I'm going to open a new sheet I'm going to follow the same process so you will go data get data and again you will do from file okay I'm going to use something called a legacy wizard but you'll just do yours from file same process it'll ask me to select the file import and then you will see this screen Okay, there are a few things that you have to do on here. So the first of which is your data has headers. So you can see running along the top there, I've got my headers. So you need to select this box here. And click next. Okay, we are using uh, tab separated values in this sheet. So we just make sure tab is selected, which it is. And click next. Um, that's all fine there. This is asking you to format columns if you need to, but that's all fine. I'm going to click finish. Where do I want to paste it? Same thing again, into this worksheet. OK. And that's how you import data into a spreadsheet um, using both of the different types of wizards.